Alright, welcome back to part 2 out of 3 for the Micro Mouse series. This time we're going to be focusing more on the build, so last time was just an introduction to the different parts and a little bit about the Micro Mouse project. This time we're going to be putting on the peripherals and then just testing each one of those out. So we're going to get a working Micro Mouse at the end of this. And also we're going to work through some of the bugs for that and my solutions around it. So thank you guys for joining me on this process and I hope you guys enjoy it. My dad got these like magnifying lenses that he uses for fly fishing. I'm gonna give these a try because I have to like solder all these little components to the PCB. So yeah, let's give these a try. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I first soldered on resistors and capacitors into the power input so that we can turn on the MCU and see if it works, and I'll show you guys this a little bit later in the video. So here's a nice little close-up of the board. You can see that for the smaller components, I'm using SMD soldering, so surface mount device soldering. And then for the larger devices like this button, I'm using through hole soldering, so the pins go through the board and I solder them on the other side. Finally, here's me testing out the board, and you can see that it works. Nice. Now we can go on to the next step, the drivetrain. For this Micromouse, I 3D printed a motor stand so the motors can sit a little bit higher and give some room for the encoders and the wheel. The motor mount, the motors, and the encoders will stand in this middle section of the mouse right here. Alright, so I've programmed it and now we're just gonna test it out on this table here. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Alright, nice. Um, up next, we're going to be putting these encoder boards so that we understand how far and how fast we're moving. So yeah, that'd be cool. All right, let's keep it up. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching part 2 of the Micro Mouse series, The Build. In part 3, we'll be testing it out and making sure it can actually solve the maze. So thank you guys so much for tuning in, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.